up slightly early gang a little bit early gang only the slightest bit early gang how we doing what's up what's good how are we feeling we're gonna have a nice chill stream today chill hangout let me go drop a live over in a We'll probably play some marbles today. Maybe. Because we only have a little bit. We only have a little bit of time. What's up, trombone? How we doing? We probably have until about 2.45, 2.45-ish. So we've got about an hour and 45, almost two hours. Really depends on if I hear a knock at my door. You're gonna knock at my door. We'll be waiting for you. I guess I'll just drop a live since I don't know exactly what we're gonna be doing today. Live and let live. Live, love, laugh, dream. Live your life live. Live your life to the fullest. Love you lots. Live, laugh, love live. Love you now live. See, I don't. I feel like I don't know. I never know what to do. I never know what to do. We'll do Mel Brooks. Live. Birthday, 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 birthday! Oh, you're not supposed to give us bits for your birthday. Oh my goodness! Chats in the clap for happy birthday trombone. Yes, happy, happy, happy. How's your birthday been so far, Trombone? You had a good one? Chat's in the clap. Happy birthdays. Happy birthday again, right? Poggy Live, what's up, Weesh? I just heard my tea go off, so just for Trombone. Just for Trombone. Just for trombone. Just for trombone. Can I request a free redemption of a page of the book? Absolutely. That's a wonderful birthday gift. All right, five minutes. Five minutes. 105. What if there was a day that no one were born on, Sneaky? That sounds like a book, huh? Hank Green, not Hank Green, John Green. John Green is in the middle of writing that book right now as we speak. It's no one's birthday today. May 31st, not a birthday. Not a person was born. And all through the house. All right. That's true, it's just user. Users had, users had a birthday twice this week. It's pretty crazy. All right, let's see. Let's see if this works, okay? The RNG is the thing I never never actually hooked up. I still need to look it up. So let's do an RNG. Wasn't it like pages 1 through 191? 152. Getting all these late chapter books, huh? All right, let's see if this button works. Ready? Oh, hey, nice to meet you. Thanks for the follow, Frenchy2K16. Let's see if that worked. It did take the focus away for some reason. It did not start playing the music. Or did it? It did not. Oh. My special button! Okay. <clears throat> well, Frenchie, you've come at a wonderful time. You've entered at a wonderful time. We're going to be reading a random page out of a book that I wrote. Whenever I was 10 years old, without context, 
a random page. This time in particular is page 152. It's very cringy. It's very embarrassing. And I don't know why I do it to myself. But here we are. Such is life. And this is what we do. So, I present to you page 152 of The Mirror Mural, written by a 10-year-old Nathan Webb. Um, this is from chapter 33, Unexpected Rivals. Again, presented without context, beyond what I've given you. Zando, I see you. Don't let me forget. I'll redeem your things in just a moment. <clears throat> Next, the big man yelled, Ghost Flame, Nathan, and Secret Agent Tom get a pass. Dang it, Ghost Flame mutters. It's fine, SCT tells him. Let's go, the big man yelled. Hey, everybody, I yelled. Hey, Nathan, Paul replied. Hey, Brady replied weakly. Darren glanced off, thinking. Hey, what's wrong, Brady? I asked. I had to kill Nolan. <laughs> Yikes. I had to murder someone. He replied. He was working for the king. No, I gasped. Yeah. And what's more? He said that if I die, he will win. Brady cried. Oh, excuse me, he cried. I've got to hang on. Yeah, and what's more, he said that if I cry, he'll win! Brady cried. Dang, this is getting more and more confusing, I sighed. Yeah, Brady sighed. So, what's the matter with you, Darren? I asked. Nothing, he replied. You have a lot of cuts across your chest, I screeched. Did all those just happen? Hey, he does have a lot of cuts, Brady said. Looks painful. It's, it's nothing, he replied. Really? Okay, I said. If you're sure. I am, he said. Okay, see you later, the big man said, exiting. See ya, I waved. So, the only people left are Secret Agent Tom... Ghost Flame, Darren, Paul, Ninja Mace, Kurt, you, and I, Brady stated. Brady listed would be a better ad yeah, a better word there. Better verb. I can't believe Mrs. B and Kerrang lost, I exclaimed. They seem so strong. So did that girl, Paul said. This has been page 152 of the Mirror Mural presented without context, please. Chats in the clap. Chats in the cloud, please. Man, oh man. What an experience. 10% of frames dropped. Are we dropping frames, folks? Are we dropping them? I got a Gamba to do and a movie movie game to do. Spectrum is literally on their way. I didn't do a reset before I started streaming today, and that's what I'm paying for, I'm sure. Nope, I'm up to 12%. All right, well, the good news is we can do a Gamba. Or not a Gamba, a gotcha. I never said that. I never would. I never have, never will. All right, let's see what Zando got from the Gachapon machine today. Ooh, try, try again. Zando gets a double. Zando with a double. You did not. You heard nothing. Just because it's your birthday does not mean I will give in. No. You heard no such thing. You would never hear such a thing. All right, Zando, let's see what you got. Read Nate's book, how about that? Another page, another page for Zando. Wow, all right. Man, I just put it away too. Let me get the RNG back up. Oh, RNGesus, what shall we read today? 140, all right. It isn't my birthday, it's user's birthday. Frenchie, Frenchie, I know this is a weird start to a stream. <laughs> 
Glad you're here. Happy you're here. Let us know more about you in the chat. If you want to know more about us, we'd love to answer any questions you might have. Checkpoint Church, Church for Nerds, Geeks, and Gamers. What's up, Phoenix? Phoenix, you're in for a treat. About to get a second page out of my book that I wrote whenever I was 10 years old. Very awkward and uncomfortable. We just learned that apparently Nolan died. But don't worry, I was watching plenty of anime. So nobody dies for too long in this book. All right. Page 140 of the Mirror Mural presented without context. Let's turn on some piano music, please. I could close out of a bunch of things. I'm going to close out of a bunch of things. See if that doesn't help us with our, with our cause here. Okay. Um, this is from Chapter 30, titled Nathan's Defeat. <clears throat> That's me. I'm Nathan. If you don't write a book about yourself, what are you even doing? Okay. All right, Hans, let's get this on, the receptionist told us. All right, bring it on, Nathan, the girl yelled. She began to get into her battle uniform. Ooh. Oof. Oof. Get ready. Mm, but I don't want to fight a girl, I whined, shrugging. Very chivalrous, but stupid, the girl scoffed. If you knew who I was, you wouldn't hesitate to kill me. I sighed. I don't know about that. You don't really sigh with a ch whatever. Ch I don't know about that. Well, more precisely, at what I'm about to do. Oh, yeah? And what are you going to do? I grinned, preparing to fight. Destroy. Destroy? Is there an echo here? She yelled. Until you recognize me, I'll just do you in. Huh? I asked. Watch this! She yelled as her stomach split in two! Who predict who hey, I want to know in the chat, who thought stomach split in two was where we were about to go with that? <laughs> Not me. Oh, watch this, she yelled, as her stomach split in two and formed a vortex I was sucked inside of instantly. No, I yelled. Ah! Oh boy. Hmm. Did you know it? There's no way you knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I was gone in her stomach, in the heavens, in the underworld, in eternity. Wow, I got poetic there, huh? What's up, out of sense? Back in the waiting room, scene change. So, what now? Brady asked, wiping the slight buildup of tears. Oh, no, he's sad. So, what now? Brady asked, wiping the slight buildup of tears in his eyes. Brady cried. Who said Brady always be crying? <laughs> Brady's crying, you guys. He's dead. We can't do anything now, Paul sighed. He's one of many to die here in the cruel world. No, Nathan! Darren cursed, bawling. You were the last one I would expect to break down and cry, cutthroat. Paul laughed. Oh, excuse me, Paul laughed. <laughs> you were the last one I would expect to break down and cry, cutthroat. Paul laughed, taking my death very leisurely. Shut up! He snapped at Paul. Loudly. That's been page 140 of the Mirror Mural presented for your listening pleasure without context. Thank you, please. Chat's in the clap. Please. For Brady's tears. Clap for Brady's tears. That's what we love to hear. 16.8% of dropped frames. Zando, movie, movie game. Having some Assam, Assam tea. A-S-S-A-M. Assam tea. All right. So, going to make me a water bottle with Brady's tears. <laughs> All right. Rules of the game is that you have to combine two movie titles based off of the prompt given. Everybody, Zando redeemed this. So, please, do not answer before Zando gets a chance to guess if you figure it out. Here we go. When he's not... <laughs> I didn't write this, okay? I didn't write... This is not... You, your, your pastor didn't read this, okay? I don't know if I showed you the title or not. I don't know if I showed you the answer. I didn't write this. Okay? There's no outright profanity. But it might be slightly profane. Little ones, close your ears. 
When he's not busy doinking Roller Girl, Dirk Diggler jousts with William Thatcher, a skilled peasant boy gaining fame and notoriety in medieval competitions. Believe it or not, this is one that I would get pretty easily. Well, maybe not super easily, but I, I would get this one after some thought. I'll read it again because it's a hilarious prompt, really. When he's not busy doinking Roller Girl, Dirk Diggler jousts with William Thatcher, a skilled peasant boy gaining fame and notoriety in medieval competitions. And I see your long. Here comes the boy. Boogie Night's Tale! That's it! Claps in the chat for Zando! Good job! Boogie Night's Tale. Love it. That's a good one, man. So dumb. Even though I think technically it is a Night's Tale. So this kind of breaks its own rules. It's not Night's Tale. It's a Night's Tale. So this one, this is a bad prompt, but a good one. It's definitely a Night's Tale, right? Lonk, how you doing, buddy? You having a good day? Do you want to wish Trombone a happy birthday? Yeah! Or should you sing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chess in the clap. Will you mention the movie nights, please, sir? Yes, the Phoenix, of course. He's choking. He's not choking. He's cutting. He's he's exasperated because he's slicing so hard. I'm pretty sure is the canonical reason. Folks, let me get that link. Let me get that link. I have a feeling, is it in general, Phoenix? Oh, did you DM it to me? Even better. Would you DM me the link? DM me the link for me, Phoenix, and I'll, I'll drop it in the chat. Folks, Phoenix is doing an awesome thing for us. One of our newest level two members. Super cool. And uh, wanting to put together a movie series. So be able to watch movies on a Friday or Saturday night together and RNG them, put together a random list and draw from that list. So... We need your suggestions. We need to know what times you're available to watch those movies together in the community. So once I get that link, I'll spam it in the chat and we would love to have you enter your, your suggestions for movies, your suggestions for things to watch, the times that work best for you so that we can have a, some, some movie nights. Some movie nights, movie nights. Preferably don't, hey, don't recommend boogie nights, please. And what are, the, what are the parameters? I'm pretty sure it has to be HBO, Netflix, Hulu, or one other. Maybe Apple TV Plus is it one of those. Somewhere along those lines. When you get that lock, you mean. When you get that lock. Whenever that lock comes my way. Okay, here it is. Let me copy that lock. Bitly slash Checkpoint Cinema. At least slash checkpoint cinema. Let's let's take a look at what we got so far, huh? Or what it looks like to go there. Okay, so when you click on that link, what's gonna happen? It's gonna ask for your Discord handle. It's gonna ask for what time works best for you. What's the name of the film? Yep. Platform is Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, or HBO Max. MPAA rating of the film, G P G P G thirteen. We decided to on R rated films, which would I guess eliminate Boogie Nights for us. And then if you want to provide more information, you can. So we would love your feedback. Let us know what works. And I, I think all of these are Friday nights. Are any of them Saturday, or is, are you just asking for Friday night times, Phoenix? Are you trying to oust Lonk? You trying to oust Lonk, Trombone? Yeah? He sang you happy birthday. He sang you happy birthday. We're going to get DMCA'd? And you would, you would disrespect me this way. You would disrespect me this way. How dare you? On the day of my daughter's wedding. As of right now, Fridays. I want them both. I've got to stop letting you redeem both. <laughs> Fridays. All the times are Fridays. 
So keep in mind, Fridays are the days. Those are the days that you can select from. And the times are there available. Try to make them work based off of your timing. Make recommendations, make movie recs, all that good stuff. I was with my brother when he rented Boogie Nights. He's eight years older than me, and the guy at the desk looked at me probably 12 or 13 at the time and said, you're not going to watch this, are you, bud? This one, the end of this one <laughs> gave me the splankies. Oh, my. Well, it's, um, it's an interesting film. It's an important film. It's a film that you should just make sure you're ready to watch. You're prepared emotionally and old enough to watch. Um, Luigi, how, how's your day been? It's been pretty good. It's, it's been a good day. I've had a pretty good day. I'm very happy about that, Ouija. It's a, I can't. I don't have that many arms. All right, Lonk. Lonk, say goodbye to Lonk, everybody. Lonk's gonna say goodbye for a bit, and then I guess um I guess Marie's gonna come out, and then eventually Ouija will pass on, and then we'll have Zeltar back out here. No voice Zeltar. Literally no voice Zeltar will return. All four. Oh, you want that again? Okay. again okay okay here we go the full camaraderie here oh no Ouija sleeping Ouija wake up wake up buddy we do need a Fox McCloud puppet if you find me one I'll put it in the uh, the I'll put it in the um what's call it Burks McClure the whole gang see everybody's here the whole gang's here. Look at all of them. I always feel like they're in a choir. Don't they look like a choir? What would they sing? Oh, he's peeking. <laughs> Did you see Luigi just like, I'm here too. <laughs> hey, everybody, don't forget about the me. I'm here too. Hush up, Luigi. Everybody cares about the Marie and the Long. Nobody cares about the Ouija. But I'm a here. But I'm a right here, though. Don't forget about the me. No! Nobody wants to hear from a Ouija. This is it. We do need a Fox McCloud. I still owe you guys a Koopa and a Bowser. I got both Koopa and Bowser. Um, but they upped the price on him for me, and I don't like that. Luigi is green Mario. <laughs> I love Luigi. <laughs> I hear that. I'm not just green Mario. Look, I have the L on my head. Not to make me different. It's not, you're not different, Luigi. Luigi, you're just tall, lanky Mario. Oh, boy. What tangled webs we weave, folks. I do like that I just have them on an upside down stool. It works. It's effective, okay? I was going to go to the store and I was going to buy a um, a bunch of dowel rods and screw them into some kind of substantial plank of wood. But then I was like, you know what already does that? A stool. That is just what a stool do. So here we are. Folks, we got a huge announcement coming up tomorrow. Which I guess means we're also going to be having a bonus stream tomorrow, so anticipate that. Especially since today's stream is cut short. Does everyone know why? Ask me why. Ask me why today's stream is being cut short. Huh? Who wants to know? Why is it being cut short today? Does anybody want to take a guess? It's not because the stomach's split in two. So we're going to Goat Island before the lodge. Swinging by Floyd and Blackies for ice cream either before or after hiking. That's awesome, Trombone. I love the Lodge. The Lodge is my favorite place to go in Belmont. Even with even with the, the deliciousness of um of Nelly's. The Lodge is still my favorite. Zando nailed it. Zando nailed it. Spectrum will be here between three and four. They said my service will take anywhere from one. To three hours. So here we go. Here we go.
Nelly's is pretty bougie. I feel that. That's a celebration place. That's a place we go for a birthday. I think we went there. We went there whenever um, my brother-in-law got engaged. That was his engagement lunch. Will the puppets be helping Spectrum? Only me. I'm the only one. I'm the only one who knows how to work on equipment. Classic Ouija. I work in the sound booth. Ouija would work in the sound booth at the church. But I do. I definitely feel that. Nellie's could be bougie. But yes, huge announcement tomorrow. Our big announcement yesterday was our, our nerdy Bible studies, which we need a name for. Marie is just hiding and not getting much time. That is not the truth. I'm here about talking to my brother. Nobody wants to see the Luigi. Yes, they do, brother. They love a Ouija. You may notice they redeem me first, brother. Nonsense. They just uh, accidentally pressed the wrong button. No, Ouija. That is wrong, Mario. Trombone redeemed me first. It is true. It is not true. Say it not so. Meanwhile, Wonkin... Zeltar is the real quiet one of the bunch, because I don't have a voice for Zeltar. I like that you have them set up and moving as if they are a living tribunal. <laughs> Look, I'm trying my best here, all right? And then we got people redeeming... Which one? Which one, Zando? Mystery or trivia? I'm actually working on some more rewards. I'm just going to have them back here just chilling. I see you. I'm always watching. Nice. Man, Perspectus. Rocking it as usual. Looking forward to our big announcement tomorrow. Trivia! Alright, you know the way this works. I will read off the trivia and then I will count to 15. I'll actually read the trivia question twice. I'll count to 15. And then you will, um, you'll have to type in the chat your answer. If you get it right. I'll give a dollar to um, your charity of choice. If you get it wrong, I will give a uh, a dollar to the Carolina Manga Library, which I think we've given we've given like twenty bucks to them so far. All right. The question is, how many fingers does Mickey Mouse have? How many fingers? Does Mickey Mouse have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen? 15. Zando has answered eight, and eight is correct. Good job. Eight fingers, including thumbs. So if a thumb's a finger, then eight is the answer. If you don't, con if you don't consider a thumb a finger, then I guess that's you. Four on each hand. That is correct, my friend. That is correct. Well done, indeed. Congratulations to Zando. Don't stream and drive. Hey, y'all, streaming and driving. Yeah, don't stream and drive. Just drive and listen. Listen and drive. But whatever you do, don't look at the very interesting thing going on on the screen. Do not, under any circumstance, look at the interesting things that are happening right now. Doesn't matter how... I mean, this is amazing what's happening right now, but please stop. Don't look. Don't do it. All right. Or just don't stream and drive, and we understand. But we appreciate you being around nonetheless, Stained. Even if you got a lurk, we appreciate you being here. Um, what was I about to do? I had a plan. Oh, destroy that book. Yeah, you redeemed to destroy that book. That means I got to pull out my phone real quick. Let's get after it. 
Let's get after it. Pull up my droid cam. Uh, make sure everything matches up. It does not. Why does it keep changing? You'll preach at my funeral with that kind of bait. <laughs> uh, I forgot to put away my leftover mac and cheese BRB. All good. Hopefully, hopefully that'll do. All right, what I'm gonna do is, let's see if this looks right. Pow! Nice. Oh, I see, wait, understand now, you need to wait for this. Well, we're gonna do a wreck this journal page whenever, whenever Tromon gets back. Can I zoom out of this? It's so zoomed in. You cheated? No! Zando, did you Google a picture or did you look up the answer? Okay, this is not what I thought it was actually. Oh, in the kids' playroom, Minnie and Mickey are everywhere. I don't think that's that much cheating. I mean, it's not, it is cheating. Don't get me wrong, but it's not that bad. There have been worse evidences sorry that the chat looks awful so you literally looked up <laughs> yeah we didn't anticipate you closing your eyes for the remainder of stream or for the remainder of that 15 count so the way to destroy this book works is um i will uh leaf through this book and whenever whenever i see stop in the chat from trombone i'll do that page We're all very ashamed. Or I guess I, you know what I could do? I could do this right here. I could just move it over. Yeah, that works just as well, doesn't it? Then I could just shrink my cam. No, I cannot do that. Never mind. I can move my cam over. Bow. Nice. Nice. Look, we're figuring it out on the fly. Stream avatars need to shrink a little bit, though. Pop them down here. Pop and squat. Drop them underneath the alerts. Bow! Babushka! You love it. You love to see it, don't you? I do, at least. Got to run away for a minute. Sarah's about to leave for annual conference. Oh, my goodness. Go wish her well. Safe travels. Hope that your annual conference goes well this year. I know it's a stressful one. Not an easy one for any of us. But it's always hard whenever a spouse has to has to leave. Oh, it's upside down. Well, that simply won't do. That simply will not do. We've got to get this right side up. Simply will not do. Bam. Ha-ha! Yes! Man, I am just good at this, aren't I? I'm good at this stuff. Tell her to cause good trouble. That's right. What we did last time with this book is we made this little chain, but it broke. You can broke me down. Folks, how was your how was your Monday? Was your Mondays okay? How are your how's your Tuesday starting so far? I hope it's going well. We're happy that you're all here. Happy that you're tuning in and having fun. Enjoying yourself. Engaging in the chat. I love a good active chat. Don't forget to go make a movie wreck. Let us know what's going on in your life. Well, so far, so much work for conference. Oh, Bwish. You've been busy, my friend. You've been so busy. I feel for you. I've got conference coming up in the next couple weeks. And I am expecting it to wreck my life. Okay, I'm back. Stop talking smack. That was all, that was all you were doing. All right, trombone, here is the way we're gonna go. I am going to leaf through this book. Whenever I see you type stop in the chat is what the page I will stop on. I will leaf incredibly slowly, starting now. Just say stop as soon as you're ready. It's 
Stop. Oh, Jam Gamer threw me off, but I think I stopped at the right time. Oh, I just got to punch this page! After dipping your fist in something. I don't have anything. I, I literally don't have anything. I just got to punch this page. Jam Gamer came out of nowhere, dude. Jam Gamer was like, I'm ready for this. Your tea? Tea on the page? I do have some, I just have some old coffee that I haven't dumped this yet this morning. But I got to punch the page with something on my fist. Something's got to be on the fist and then on the page. Do I have any, do I have any paint? I don't know if I have any paint. I doubt I have any paint. Let's let's find out if I have any paint. I have no paint, but I do have old coffee. I have old coffee. That's all that I have. Can I could I dip my hands in old coffee and punch that on the page? Or do we need to do we need to go again? Is this cheap? Is this a ripoff page? I could always hole punch this page too. That could be another option. Because that's technically a punch. Pastor Nate wants to sell you an auto protection policy as well. Extended warranty. The thing is, is I'm trying to figure out how I could even dip my hand in anything at all. My fist won't fit, will it? Let's find out. This is messy. This is very messy. Let's see if my fist will fit down in this thing. I don't think so, dude. Oh no! Oh no! It's getting everywhere! Oh no! No! <coughs> Not good. Not good. Making a mess with my expensive computer stuff. I don't want to waste my points. My beautiful, precious points. I figured it out. I figured it out. I figured it out. I figured it out. I have a basin of my Buddha board. And I can pour the coffee in the Buddha board. And then I can put my fist in this thing. And just imagine how confused the Spectrum people will be, right? I mean, they're going to have no idea what's going on. Why does this man have coffee pouring into a, 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 a basin? Why? why? Why is his thumb dripping coffee? Okay. Punch this page after dipping your fist in coffee. Hang on. I want to do this page. I want to do this page. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Don't, don't even, don't even lose it. Punching, punching it. Trying to let it soak. Wiggle back and forth. Do the stamp method. Prepare. Oh, it looks awful. Oh, it truly didn't do anything at all. Truly didn't do anything at all. There you go. There's your coffee punch. My, my finger smelly coffee. Honestly, a pretty good problem to have. I'm all right with that. Now I'll put my coffee basin to the side. Might better wash my hands. I'm gonna wash my hand. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You know. I'm gonna wash my hands.
Done. 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 Easy peasy. These are the kinds of streams the FBI looks back upon when they try to connect the dots on a serial killer. No way. No way, Jose. Focus. Focus. Nolan did get murdered. You guys, Nolan is a swell guy. Nolan is a swell guy. He's a fantastic person. Oh, well, that was exciting. That's a pretty fun one. I like to destroy this book. It causes me to think pretty creatively, outside the box, to say the least. So I realized something while I was doing that. I realized something. Um, our big, huge announcement for tomorrow is going to be announced in the newsletter. And the newsletter comes out at 8 a.m. Love you guys. Love the chat. Love the stream. Love the Twitch community. I am not streaming at 8 in the morning. Really, 7.30 in the morning before the newsletter drops. So I think the only fair thing to do for Trombone's birthday is to go ahead and let you guys know what's happening. I think we've got to drop the huge announcement. What clickbait? What clickbait? What are you saying? I'll be in Vail tomorrow anyways to help build a wheelchair ramp. Vail? Trombo will have to talk about Vail. I've learned a lot about Vail in the past two years. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Okay. I'm going to tell you guys on the stream the extra super special secret announcement. But you have to promise not to tell the Discord. Or the newsletter community. Or drop it on any of our socials. You guys are getting a sneak peek. We gotta keep it a secret. All my friends are already here. Else, what I tell all the other friends on Discord that aren't on the stream. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we just wait until tomorrow? Should we just find out through the newsletter? Don't clip it. Clip it and ship it. What I've got to do though is I've got to I've got to create the media real fast cuz I don't necessarily have it all finalized. Tell us or Trombone will have a bad birthday. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. Okay. All right. Let's share the big announcement, huh? So, here's the deal. One of the things about having an online community and creating an online community and doing stuff entirely online uh, is that it can be difficult for us to find ways for us to like actually do stuff together. You know what I mean? Like for the most part, for the most part, we're able to feel the sense of camaraderie of like Twitch. We're able to feel the sense of camaraderie that we find on our checkathons. Um, but sometimes it can be hard to feel super connected, right? So, we're going to try something for the month of June to hopefully make us feel pretty connected. And what we're going to be doing is walking. <laughs> Who's excited to walk or run or jog or what have you, however you would prefer 
to uh, rack up those miles, we're going to be doing the first ever Mileage Mania. Now, what is Mileage Mania, you might ask? Hmm? What could this mysterious thing be? What is what is walking? What is exercise that you speak of? What are we talking about here? What we're going to be doing is we are going to create a community challenge where we're all going to be logging our miles or steps or what have you, and we'll be able to log those miles together and see how far we can walk as a community together by the end of June. So starting tomorrow until the end of June, we're going to see how many miles we can, we can check off the list. Now that in and of itself is pretty cool is pretty neat, but even more than that, we want to offer to you some, some freebies, some fun stuff, some exciting things to go along with this. So if you type in to your chat right now, exclamation point walk, I think that's what it is. Exclamation point walk, you will find a bit.ly to sign up right now to join our walking challenge. Walk, walk. I'm walking here. As we unlock different levels of miles, I am going to be unlocking more and more goals and challenges along the way. But the first step is you need to sign up for the actual thing. Because we need to know that you want to participate so we know how many people are participating. We're going to be sending in weekly check-ins on an email address just to let you know, like, hey, if you haven't logged yet, you can log them here. We'll let you know all the onboarding stuff. We'll let you know as goals are met. We'll let you know milestones. Um, but we're going to see just how far we can walk as a community together. Our goal, our first goal, our, our, our like, this is what we're shooting for. If we excel beyond it, we have plans. But what we want to reach as a community of Checkpoint Church by the end of June is 300 miles. 300 miles all together, added up, and that'll get us to our goal. Will we get there? We'll find out. I think we can do it. I believe in you. I believe in the you. I believe in you. You believe in the me that believes in you. What's up, Classic Hill? How are we doing? Only unicycle miles. No, no bikes. No bikes. If you, I, we could, we could try and figure out if they, we have enough bicyclists that are interested. Let me know, and uh, we can see if we can figure out some kind of um, algorithm to convert the bicycle miles to the walking miles. But this is the game plan. We're going to do a walkathon. We're going to see how many miles we can get. It'll be a mileage reimbursement. We've got some fun stuff along the way. But no matter what, no matter what, you need to go sign up and you need to claim your pennant number. Whenever all is said and done, you're going to be getting a swag bag in the mail and it's going to have your pennant number. So. You're going to want to go ahead and claim your pennant number as soon as you can. It is first come, first serve. If somebody claims your pennant number, I will reach out to you and say, somebody already had that number. Can we get another alternate? If you do not care what your pennant number is, don't fill it out. And um, that's all good, too. I will, I'll select a number randomly from you. Up to three digits. I should have put that in the form. I didn't. Good call. I'll add it now. <laughs> Let me go ahead and add that to our form right this second. But did I get the number 42? I need to know this. I don't know. We'll find out. All right, let me fill out the form real quick. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Just 
Submissions rolling in. All right. Updated. It is not leet, but that is very funny. So there we go. Um, once a week, we're going to be doing check-ins on Monday. Mileage Mani Mania Monday, of course. We're going to do a check-in and see where we're at. We're going to do announcements. We're going to do updates. We're going to let you know what goals we've reached, what things we've unlocked, all that good sort of stuff. If you want to know more about um, Stained, are you claiming that because you're driving? <laughs> are you claiming it? Are you trying to Are you trying to 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 use your um, use your chat status here? Uh, anyway, what was I saying? I was saying something, and I don't remember what it was anymore. I've lost my train of thought entirely. Oh, yes. So we'll be, we'll be doing updates every single Monday, letting you know things as they come out as we go along. We'll do check-ins. We'll send emails. Um, and expect a swag bag at the very end of it. We'll send you some checkpoint swag as well as some mileage mania swag, uh, your pennant, and anything else that we unlock along the way. Uh, but I have goals currently all the way up to 500 miles. If we get more than 500 miles, well, then I guess we'll just have to figure it out. We'll have to go on from there. Um, expect a Discord um, specifically for people that sign up. You'll see different things in your Discord that'll have a chat. It'll also have um, a place where you can log your miles. It'll have the link there. So we'll have all that stuff together. But just, just yoinked 187. <laughs> I'm sorry, Stain. We just got to it first. It's a bummer. I know it's hard to hear, but it's, it's just is what it is, you know? Really looking forward to this and working together with everyone. Yes. Out of Sense. Huge shout out to Out of Sense for designing yet another banger of a logo. I can do two and a half miles a day. Go for it, Buish. That's about what I used to walk back in my walking days. But ever since having a baby, that hasn't happened. At the, my, goal, my goal is to at least be 30 of those three and a half miles. 30 of those 300 miles. I don't know why I said three and a half. 30 of the, oh, it's because I've seen two and a half steps a day. 30 of those 300 miles, I want to be mine. I want to do 10%. Tithe. I want to tithe my miles. Um, and I can do it. I believe in myself. Even with babies. Even with babies. I'm confident I can do it. But if you want to join our mileage mania, please do. We'd love to have you be a part of it. Official announcement coming tomorrow. Um, I I'm amped. I'm amped. It starts tomorrow. We're going to see how many steps we get in that first day. Um, yeah. Is there anything I'm forgetting? Are there any questions? Do anything like any questions rise up in your brain right away? That QR code, by the way, will will take you to the sign up form. So I'll post this image on our socials tomorrow. And if you want to share it with that QR, people can sign up using that. Yeah. Ready to walk. And I'll keep the I'll keep the exclamation walk command in there for all, for the whole month. So if you want to join us at any point in time, um, if you show up late and or if, or if you're like not sure you want to decide right now, but you're like in a week, you're like, yeah, that sounds fun. You can sign up. It'll be on the honor system. I trust you. This is Checkpoint Church. I literally have a cross floating in the background. Surely, right? You may have already said this, but how do we log our miles? All that will be coming tomorrow. So if you fill out the form for me today, I will send an email. I'll send a Discord link. Uh, all that stuff will be set up tomorrow. This wasn't supposed to be announced today. It really wasn't. I know it, even if it feels planned. <laughs> but all that will be announced tomorrow. The wonderful Perispectus has put that together for us. Um, and I'm confident in, in his capability. Don't trust Zando. That's right. Zando cheats. Zando cheats on the Mickey Mouse. Walking the dogs will count for something. That's right. So yes, honor system, you'll get a way to log your miles. Um, if you want to log your miles once a week, that's fine. If you want to log them every single day, if you want to log them with every single walk, however you want to do it, works great for us. I just want you to feel like you are a part of something. Um, I'm excited for us to see how our little, our little amounts, <laughs> I never cheated on Mickey Mouse. <laughs> cheated with Mickey Mouse on the number trivia. 
You get it. You get it. Share your mileage and personal fitness, too. That's right. We can have a little camaraderie over there. Uh, but it's good. It is a good thing. It is a good thing to take care of our bodies. It's a good thing to uh, take care of our time. It's a good thing to build camaraderie within the community. Um, I would encourage you to, you know, if you guys, even if you want to set up little walking excursions together where, hey, I like to go walking at 9 a.m. on Tuesdays. Anybody that wants to join me, let's get two guardians together. Let's hop in a room and let's straight up, let's let's hang out in a Discord chat as we walk. Um, I think that's great. Just a thought, just a pitch. Maybe you don't like that. Maybe you like to walk alone. I never walk alone. Thanks for the lurk, Sneaky. So there you go. Mileage Mania. Officially announced unofficially for Trombone's birthday. Time for therapy. Enjoy Trombone. Hopefully it goes well for you. Live into it, my friend. I've got to get more tea. I have got to get more tea. When are we walking together on Discord? We're not yet, but I'd love to see it set up. So if anybody wants to do that, I'd love to see that happen. I know that Addison and Buish are our, um, are our personal fitness trainers over there. So I'd love to see it happen. I need more tea. I need more tea. Tea is happening. Talk amongst yourselves, class. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Wait, what time do you normally stream on Wednesdays back in the day? 7 to 10. Zando, I think it is up to individuals. I'm totally down to get some scheduled times. Love it. Yes, I'm on my way out of chat. Good Pokemon choice. Who did, who did Classic Kill? Very nice. Kyogre. Love it. It was one of my favorite GBA releases. It was one of the best. Emerald remains to be one of my favorite games. One of my favorite Pokemon games. So you can't, you really just can't go wrong. If I'm going to go back and play a Pokemon game again, it's either going to be Fire Red or it's going to be Emerald. Uh, but I really want to play um, Heart Gold or Soul Silver. I still have yet to play them because um, the methodologies by which I procured them previously were ineffective. So I need to, I need to procure a different copy, perhaps. Emerald's banging. Emerald was, it was just so good. Because Ruby and Sapphire were so good, right? And then Emerald just added upon it. So, those are S tier. That's what everybody says! That's what everybody says! And so I feel like I have to play them. 
Silver was Silver was probably my first game that I understood. If I had to guess, Silver was the first game that I understood. Like fire like like whenever I played Blue back in the day, right? I didn't really understand what's going on. I understand the story. Not that Pokemon has like some robust rich story, but I didn't get it, you know? Um, but by Silver, that was where the time I was like, oh yeah, I'm following. I got this now. I'm a big kid now. I got it. Classic Hill, since you're here, let's see how far in I am in the Moviga podcast now. Moviga! Can we shout out Moviga? They've shouted me out more than enough. Twitch.tv slash Moviga, I imagine. M-O-V-I-G-A. Let's see how far in I am. 20 episodes deep! 20 episodes deep! Wowzers. Crystal was the first game that I truly understood the mechanics of. Yeah. And I guess my... I, I didn't own... I never owned Crystal growing up. I didn't get it until I was an adult. Now I have Liquid Crystal. And I still haven't played it. Still can't believe... I'm doing it! I'm doing it, dude. I'm getting... I'm going to make it through. You don't understand. By the way, can we get some chats in the clap? I am officially a subscriber of 200 podcasts. I reached it. I broke the barrier. I've done the thing... I've run the race. I've fought the fight. Feels good, man. Started on yellow, but yeah, gold was my first real love. See, how's a silver kid? How's a silver? Do you have an order? What's everybody's order? I was blue, blue, silver, ruby, emerald, diamond. Please. Please. Liquid Crystal is a ROM hack out of sense. It's very good. They basically uh, did Crystal on a um, fire red skin. Ain't gonna clap for that. How dare you, Bleach? How dare you? 200 podcasts is very impressive. I deserve all the chats in the clap. What was I saying? I can't remember what I was saying anymore. I was so offended by Bleach that I can't remember what I was saying. Got to jump in a meeting, but I'll come back and chill soon. We'll see, Classic Hill. Deuces. I have a severe podcast addiction. No! No. I certainly do not. <coughs> Red Crystal, Sapphire, Emerald, Soul Silver, Diamond, Outsider looking in. Very fun. That's so interesting. So you skipped, you skipped Silver Gold and went straight to Crystal. Blue, Sapphire, Pearl, White, X, Sun, Shield. Oh, yeah, I stopped at Diamond. Diamond, then I played, um, I skipped many years. Then I played Sun, Ultra Moon, uh, Sword, Shield, uh, Brilliant Diamond, Arceus, still waiting on XY. Still waiting on XY. Heart goal, whenever that happened. With all the podcasts, video games, books, movies, albums, you ingest, how the heck did you become a father a second time? Dude! You're telling me. I don't know. I can't keep up with it, that's for sure. Can't keep up. Can't keep up. Podcast listening time. My global podcast listening time since getting um, an Android phone. No, not even. Since, oh yeah, no, since 2019. Is that right? Did I get an Android phone? Before? I feel like I had one before then. Maybe my stats got wiped or something. Since setting up an account in 2019, yeah, I only had six hours of listening to that. So three years. For 2020, 2021, and 2022, I have listened to a total of 340 days and one hour of podcasts. <laughs> That's crazy! That's crazy! That's crazy, dude! <laughs> that's insane, man. Holy moly, that's a lot of podcasts. Now, 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 listen. That's not quite right. In fact, it's I would even argue that it's drastically wrong. Because I think it counts time that I've saved by... Um, skipping by silent skipping and by playback speed increasing. So I don't listen to it. I, there's no podcast. I listen to at regular speed. So I've saved 126 days 
I really hope that that means, I really need that to mean that I've listened to 340 days minus 126. I need it to mean that. What podcast have I listened to the most of, you ask? The H3H3 podcast. I've listened to 27 days worth of H3. Boggling. Boggling. So much podcast. But I love it. But I love it. Do we have a virtue audit tomorrow? We do. We have a virtue audit tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Anybody that's able to join us from level 2 can join that. If you want to know more about level 2, folks, I think there's an exclamation point level 2 to join. Um, the basic the basic gist of level 2, I need to put that on a bit.ly. Remind me to do that. I need to put that on a to-do list. Hang on. Hang on. While I've got this up, let me do a to-doist so I don't forget this. We need more bit.lys. Create level 2 bit.ly. Boom. Okay. Um... Okay, what was I saying? Legend of Retro. Legend, Legend of Retro. Legend of Retro. Legend! Ah! Legend of Retro was an exceptional podcast that I listened to in the past year. So, yes, an excellent podcast. Um, if you want to know more about Level 2, Level 2 is our... Um, it's not what it sounds... It's, it's not as heavy as it sounds like. We're not asking for your time. We're not asking for uh, you to sign up for, a, for uh, you know, to serve a Bible study or to... Uh, go into the ministry. We're not asking any of that of you. Level two simply is a mindset change where you go from, I want to go from being served by Checkpoint Church to serving Checkpoint Church. If you're ready to say that, if you're ready to say, I want to be a servant hearted person here. I want to serve this community. I want to give of my efforts, time, patience, reading, uh, whatever. You don't have to give anything in particular. It's a mindset change. It's a, I would like to give something of myself to Checkpoint Church, then sign up for level two. We'd love to have you. The basic, that's, that's, the, that's the mindset that happens. The stuff that you get is a super exclusive Discord um, section that opens up to you once you're in level two. You get an invite, an exclusive ticket to level two reunion. You get a newsletter all to yourself with analytics and uh, conversation topics and leadership things that we're going along with. You get more opportunities to serve this community. Let's say that you're super gifted in Excel like Perispectus is, and you wanted to design our sign-up sheet for Mileage Mania. Boom, level two. That's what that's for. Doesn't matter if you're a part of another church. It doesn't matter if you are a pastor. It doesn't matter if you're a part of another online community. We're not going to ask that much of you. It's really just a mindset of saying you want to serve this community as well to the one that you're serving. If you're interested in becoming a mod or anything like that or becoming a guardian, the first step is to be a level two. If you're interested in serving one of our Bible studies, um, not to participate. You, anybody can participate in our Bible studies. But if you're interested in facilitating one, level two. Um, we got more things coming up if you want to be a part of those, level two. It's just the entryway. It's the door into saying you want to serve this community. And you're also a part of the, you're a part of the thing that, that helps figure out what we need to do. I don't know what this community needs as well as you do. You're the, you are the community. And so in order for me to know what, what you need, I need you to step up and tell me what you need. So if you feel like that's something you can do, boom. Won't cost much, just your voice. Love it. I think we have another another Assam tea. Taylor's. Taylor's tea. Thank you, Taylor. Delightful. Delightful. Oh, my mug today. My mug is the Palace Arcade of Hawkins, Indiana. The best food and games in Hawkins. I'd like to update y'all on my right thumbnail that was crushed and fell off like five months ago. I remember that. 100% regone. That is awesome, Bwish. Congratulations to you and your thumbnail. Man, right thumb too. Do you play guitar? Were you able? Were you able to play guitar? If you do. Because I can imagine... Okay, nopers. Well, there you go then. Um, I can't imagine being able to play guitar without a thumb. Would you look at that? What are you pointing out, out of sense? <laughs> I do have an official feedback on the My Little Buddy Charmander that you can purchase. Don't. Don't. Not worth it. Not worth it. Thrilled that you're feeling better, please. 
Didn't know I was going to learn that today. Not worth the My Little Buddy. Did you stream yesterday? I did stream yesterday. I did stream yesterday. I streamed um, some Pokemon card unboxing. I finished playing A Short Hike, which is a fantastic game. You're all good. You're all good. You're all good. You're all good. Regardless of your mod status, we just want Beach to be around because we like Beach being around. I just figured you were occupied with uh, conference stuff. Feels okay, man. Occupied with rest. Perfect. Perfect. We love rest here. Big fans of resting. By the way, not last night. Last night I didn't sleep very much. But the night before, God bless. I got eight hours of sleep. Can we please get some chats in the clap for eight hours of sleep? So good. Feels so good to have actually gotten some rest. Big deal. Big deal. With baby number two, it only took a month. It only took a month of baby number two, but I got a full night's rest. And uh, I mean, granted, we woke up every three hours. We still did the rigmarole. But wowzers. Wowzers. It's, it is something, you know, it's something different. I thought about this a lot because B Surfer um, may be having his baby any minute now. And a lot of a lot of a lot of not yet parents uh, or people that just don't understand the the newborn stage holy moly it is a different it's it's a different kind of tired like I remember that level of tired where you're like playing video games and you don't sleep I remember that level of tired but it's a different tired I don't know how to describe it. It's youth group tired. For those of you that were in like youth group and stuff and you would have all nighters, it's that tired. All right, I see your gamba time here, Stain. Bleach, are you prepared for a gamba? For gamba time, we do a how well do you know Nate? I'll read off one of these random uh, what do you mean do you know me cards. And um, you guys get to decide if you know me or not. You get to reveal how well you know me. For Gambas. Well, this is a silly one because I I can objectively see it. It was asking me if I could spell a word. Ob ob obviously. Obviously I can spell a word. Okay. Gamba time. Here we go. Uh, actually, this one's kind of given away by what we just talked about. I'll, I'll put that one back in there. I'll put that one back in there. Remember, this is Gamba. Don't reveal the answers. Because you want, you. if anything, you want to steer the other people in a certain direction. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Everybody get ready with your points. Hopefully going to win big this go-round. Has Nerd Pastor Nate ever been in a band? Has Nerd Pastor Nate ever been in a band? Gamba time. Boyce is going to cue that Gamba up for us. See it once it runs across the top. All right. There we go. It is live. Put your predictions before I reveal the answer. Have I ever been in a band? We're going to learn. We're going to learn today. We're going to learn today. We're going to learn today. No doubters. We're at 7K versus zero. Oh, no. You'll just get your points back, right? If it's yes or no. Or I guess you could lose your points. But there's no chance of, like, getting more than you bet. That's no fun. That's no fun. All right. Looks like it's running out. Boom. We ready for the answer? Well, fortunately for the betters, yes. 
Yes, I've been in many a band. I have been in many a band. I've had several groups. Several groups here and there. So congratulations to the yeses. You got your points back. Yep. I was in um, my first band. Ooh, my first band. My first band was in middle school in seventh grade. And it was me and um, Bubba. And we were in a group called Biscuits in a Basket. <laughs> I'll give you two guesses as to what kind of music we sang. It was country music, of course. And then uh, in eighth grade, we formed my Christian rock band. I played the bass like Paul McCartney, like all the cool lead. I was the lead singer that played bass. And uh, we, were, we were around for a long time. Um, had a couple of bands in high school, really, on the side of, of me and me and some buddies that would get together and jam or would do some stuff, you know. And then um, starting in, like, sophomore, junior year, I launched my own band, I guess, indie record kind of thing, where I, I did uh, Nathan Webb Music. Hey, Gifted Lee, a sub. Thanks for gifting subs there, Stained. Appreciate the sub. We got to get there. We got to get back up to 25. We get back up to that 25 sub mark. We're at 18 subs right now. Well, I guess 19 with stains there. Um, where now? What else? What else? Uh, I was in an acapella group. I was actually in two acapella. I was in the high school acapella group, but we never did anything. Um, and then I was in the acapella group in uh, college, the Takata Tones. You can actually find me. You can find me right now. If you want to hear me sing uh, Crash Into You by Dave Matthews Band Acapella, you can search for the Takata Tones and um, Crash. Crash by Dave Matthews. We covered his song, and that was my solo. You could also potentially hear me in the background of some other tracks. I was a bass. If you're the bass, that was me. And I almost had some other solos here and there, but... That competitive life, dude. Competitive life. And uh, I was in several praise bands, of course. What else? Anything else? I feel like that's it. I feel like that was all my bands. I think that's all the bands I've been in. My wife and I never really formed a band so much as she just sang with Nathan Webb Music, which has now rebranded into Ennis, E-N-N-I-S. No, <laughs> that's, that's the actual last name. E-N-N-E-S-S, E-N-N-E-S-S. -S. Can't even remember my own band name here. Um, and maybe we'll make some music this year. Hopefully, I'd love to make some music. I miss it. I miss it so bad. I've got so many songs on the back burner. I've got so many songs that I've written and worked on that have that have so much time uh, put behind them. They are playing no game. <laughs> no, they aren't. <laughs> they are playing no game. I think it's actually Ennis Music. I don't think that's me. Let's find my Twitch page. I think it's Ennis Music. Nope. Maybe it is Ennis. Nope. What is it? Hang on. It'd be on my um, it'd be on my link tree. Yeah. Ennis music. That's it. We haven't done much. We haven't done much though. It turns out that um, launching a channel and then having a baby makes it a little bit difficult. But I'd like to I'd like to have jam sessions on Friday afternoons, but it never happened. Never panned out. Eventually. I'll get back into it. More importantly than streaming music, though, is what I'd really like to do is make an album. Because like I said, I got so many of these old songs that have been on the backlog forever that I love. I love these songs. I want to share them. Oh, and then I also had Water Plus Spirit. That was another band. They do not have a Twitch channel, but we do have a song on Spoofy. Yep. I guess I was technically a part of the band that is um, um, not another Advent Story original soundtrack, if you consider that a band. Which is on which is on Spoofy as well. Can we spam that? Let's get that. Let's put that in the chat, huh? Did you know we had an album? 
Did you know we straight up had an album on Spoofy, you guys? We have an album on Spoofy. You can listen to. Hello, popping in for a hot minute. What's up, Perspectus? Need a background singer? Hit me up, Stained. I'll let you know. I will let you know. But yeah, we have music on Spoofy, you guys. Ludo Good. Ludo Good has, has an album. Shane is in one of those songs. Stain is in one of those songs. In the song Discovery. I would listen to them right now, but I'm worried we may get DMCA'd. <laughs> worried we may get DMCA'd by our own selves. Amazing. Oh, whoopsie. Didn't mean to close out a spot. Spoofy. Spoofy. What's up, Perspectus? I'll let you know when my mom, was my mom said when it was no. Yeah, that is the classic, isn't it? Well, the truth of the matter is I'll let you know whenever I actually make music. I, I'm giving myself an I'll let you know. I'm, I'm, I'm letting you, letting myself know. I'd love to make it happen. Maybe, you know what? I'm, t I am, I'm officially 28 years old. Maybe for my 28th year, I will release an album. That would be an exciting thing to do, wouldn't it? That'd be something to be proud of. Except I do so many other things. But yeah, I celebrated my birthday on, on Sunday, you guys. I thought about doing a birthday stream, um, but then we went to Tweetsie Railroad on Saturday. Does anybody know Tweetsie Railroad? Do we have any North Carolinians in the house? Tweetsie Railroad is this little, um, this little amusement park uh, based around a train, quite literally. Hey, Vanguard, what's up? Vanguard knows it. So yeah, Tweetsie Railroad is all based around the Tweetsie train, train number 12, 12, that went from Kansas City to Boone, North Carolina, and back and forth. It was a part of the, the, that, that, that era of, of trains, and whenever the train service went out of business in that area, Gene Autry, thanks for your lurk, Puish, Gene Autry, the actor, bought Tweetsie, bought train car number 12, and then I don't know if, if he got bankrupt or if it just went out from underneath him or if he decided that it wasn't worth the upkeep or something, but it wound up getting bought out by another family who started the amusement park um, based around Tweetsie Railroad. And so they started their own little system where there's a little three-mile track uh, set up with scenes and skits and um, a set that people can ride on the train and the train cars and go around in three-mile track for every 30 minutes of the day. Uh, and there's tons of more amusement that they've added to in the years um, to come. There was something really sweet. Uh, so one of the things that's there, there's a much smaller track, maybe a half a mile, uh, of called the Mouse Mine. And the Mouse Mine, you get on a little train. Thanks for your lurk, Stained. You get on a little train, and it's for the, it's for the kids. It's a smaller train, smaller track, but still you're on a train, and you're going around a track. And uh, you go into this cave that is... The one and only cheese mine in North Carolina, discovered by Mortimer T. Mouse, or whatever, you know, rant they come up with at the beginning of the thing. And so you go through the cheese mine, and uh, you get in there, and it's kind of like the It's a Small World of Tweetsie Railroad, because it's terrifying. Uh, especially now being an adult, it's creepier than I remember. And you go through this mouse mine, uh, and they sing their little song, and then you go back, and then that's the ride, right? And I have such vivid memories of going through the mouse mine. And so I got to take my daughter through the mouse mine. And that was just really fun. That was really sweet. So for what it's worth, I really enjoyed that a lot. Um, even if it was a little, a little, a little tiny bit creepy. So that's how I celebrated my birthday on Saturday. And then Sunday I was so kaput that I didn't do a birthday stream. But it was a great birthday anyway. 27 years of life entering into year 28. Unreal. Hmm. 28 years of life, entering into your 29, right? Is that how it... Zero to one, yes. Zero to one is your first year. One to two is your second year. <laughs> 27 to 28 is your 27th year. 28 to 29. I'm in my 29th year. I'm 28 years old in my 29th year. Boom. Understood. Dang, my bro just turned 28 today. May's a great day. Oh, I thought we said there were no birthdays. No, I'm 28. I'm 28. 
I'm in my 29th year. <laughs> no, I'm 28. I'm 28 years old. Born in 94. I'm getting us all dis... I'm, I'm, I'm messing everybody up. We're all confused. And my fan turned off. It's very hot in here. I am 28. I was born three day, two days. I was born two days before your brother. There we go. Don't be confused. I turned 28. I did it. I am two days older than your brother. Now we got it. Now we've put two and two together. But earlier I had said for my 28th year, my brother who I named after the Green Ranger and a Rugrat and also a train. You named? You named your brother? That's brave. That's brave. I know some parents that let their uh, sibling name their child and now their child's name is Elsa. Which Elsa is a name? Elsa is a name? Elsa is a name? Oh my gosh. Have I ever told you guys the story? Have I ever told you guys the story of the colon? Hmm? Would you like to know the name? The name... That, that is a name, first off. Did you know? Did you know that Colin is a name? Because I didn't know that Colin was a name. I didn't know that Colin was a name, and I learned it the hard way. That's semicolon, which I assume is, is what they call, whenever you know that you're going to name your baby Colin, but that's still in the belly, and so it's like, it's semicolon. Um... I was preaching a sermon at a small rural church. And we were preaching about the name change of Jacob to Israel. And I talked about how important names were in the Old Testament, how important names were to the Israelites. How a name was everything to you. And so whenever Jacob was given a new name, that was a huge, life-changing, echoing reverberation that would go into Jesus' birth. Just how huge of a deal this was. I'm a funny guy. I like to think of myself as a funny person. And so I made a joke at the beginning of my sermon. And I talked about how much would you love to choose your own name? And eventually I said, here are some names. <laughs> here are some names that you probably wouldn't choose. <laughs> here are some bad names. Let me give you some bad names. I looked at these people and I told them, here are some bad names. And one of them on the list, most of the names were absurd. Most of the names were absurd names. Just like the, the like Macintosh, right? Or some kind of like named after, like, uh, you know, uh, what are, what are some of the, like, Kim and Kanye names? Like the off-the-wall names or, like, the Ash names, right, from, uh, from Elon Musk. And so I looked at them in their faces and I said, colon, get it? Potty humor. A colon. We all know what a colon does. Hilarious. Dead quiet. Silent in that room. Not a single laugh was heard. somebody speaks up and says well, my name's Cole it's a family name it's a family name three people in that room had the name Colin ancestry it was an ancestral name that had been passed down from generation to generation colon after colon after colon colon's connected if you will as if they were continuing a sentence. Mortified. I turned beet red. Oh, I literally ran out of the building at that moment, and that was the day I decided to start Checkpoint Church. That's it. That was my last day. <laughs> I 
gotta turn this fan on. I'm cooking alive. Oh, I'm telling you. I just, I was so certain that it would get such a raucous laugh. You're probably asking yourself how I got here. Well, let's start at the beginning. <laughs> you should have responded with, yeah, but you didn't choose it for yourself, right? Like if you could, you'd probably change your name, right? <laughs> you'd probably change your embarrassing, awful name. No, no, I didn't. I think I just blushed. I just blushed and said, well, how about that or something? And played it off. Or I might have said something like, and it's a lovely name, isn't it? <laughs> oh, my improv background dug me out of that hole in some way, I'm certain. Nightmare. Literal living nightmare. So, that's the story of Colin. Did you ever make a return appearance to that place? I did. <laughs> Many times. I think that was only like my second out of four years there. So, well, I don't know what's happening to my camera right now. But um, I'm pretty sure somebody is um, intercepting my signal or something. I think the CIA is hacking into the mainframe. Got a bounce for work, but so glad I was here for this. Thanks, Perspectus. Happy to have you here. No, it's not a frame drop. Not a frame drop. Or at least not a, not a network-based one. Cable is definitely loose. I would say the cable is loose, my friend. Let's give it one more shot. Good start. <laughs> All right, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We'll go with the Nintendo method. How's that look? Not look good. That port is crazy loose, actually. Let's try again. It's anybody's game. Guess I'm gonna have to send that camera off. The port itself is loose. Fantastical. It's an expensive camera to have a port get loose. They're going to tighten that up. They're going to tighten that up for sure. It stays right there, so it's not like it's even been moved a bunch. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Yeah, it's not a frame drop, though. That would be a crazy looking frame drop. Can you imagine if that happened every single time that the network dropped? Hopefully today, friends, Romans, hopefully today is the last day that we have all these dropped frames. Knock on wood. Know that I'm trying all that I can. I am trying all that I can. And at the end of the day, if, the, if it doesn't work, then um, we're just kind of out of luck because <laughs> uh, we're here for another year at the very least. And um, this is the internet provider. Unless we want to pay big, big buco bucks, which we can, I guess. Go broke. It's insane. It's insane what they charge your business whenever you have a business account. However, something that I will say is it's also very wild to me. If you've never been a business owner, if you've never been a small business representative, you also don't know the kind of customer care that you can get as a business owner versus a residential person. For instance, I've never been put on hold. <laughs> Not a once have I been put on hold for a business address. 
Not with Spectrum anyway. So maybe that's maybe that's a, a little celebration of Spectrum. One thing to celebrate them for. Read Nate's book. You got it. Let's pull up Orion Jesus. Fifty-four. Finally, getting some of those lower numbers. I've been reading so many of those high numbers at this point. Let's enjoy some piano. Hmm? Let's enjoy some piano. Ba -ba 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 <clears throat> this is page 54 of the Mirror Mural. Presented without context. The book that I wrote when I was 10 years old. Too many characters. Too many things happening. Oh, perfect. So we're actually... You're going to get a bonus little page, okay? So this is... You can see right here, we've read this top part before. So we're going to read the bottom part and the next page. Cool? This is page 53 and 54 of the Mirror Mural. Starting the new chapter. Chapter 8. The World on the Other Side. My oldest asked for the redemption. He wanted to hear your book. That melts my heart. My heart is melted or embarrassed. My heart is either melted or embarrassed. Chapter 8. The World on the Other Side. After around an hour of searching, both for Barry and for this mystery mural, it seemed like someone was sending us on the search for the needle in the haystack. But then Dan used his clever, hey, let's look all, or hey, let's all look in different areas plan. And Nolan managed to be the one to stumble upon it. He called us over as he gazed at the beautiful life-size portrait. The mural was a picture of a young, rich, and pompous man that looked a bit like a Vanderbilt. He was seated at a large desk that had a mirror on it. He was staring intently at the people looking at the painting. But strangely, the mirror had no reflection of the back of his head in it. Here it is. Wow, it's beautifully made. I asked. I asked. I asked. I asked, what's the name of this mirror, anyhow? I rubbed my fingers across the hardwood frame, pulling my finger away, only to find a clump of thick dust. Davis bent down and rubbed dust off of the small plaque at the bottom of the frame. The mirror mural? How very original, he, he replied sarcastically. So, what do we do now? I traced the edges of the painting, looking for some sort of a clue. Perhaps the edges of the canvas would come up, revealing a map of some variety. Nothing happened. Confused, I began to check on the back of the painting. It was nothing but a wooden backing to an old, cruddy painting. I was completely dumbfounded. I decided to do what any teenager, I guess I wrote myself a teenager. I decided to do what any teenager would do and cursed loudly as teenagers are wont to do, friends. I then stopped and thought of something. So much of the occurrences of the past day, is that a way of saying things? So much of the occurrences of the past day had been so supernatural. Why wouldn't this be just as strange? I rubbed my hand over the entire painting. The canvas felt odd. The strangest part of all was where the mirror was located on the painting. The second I rubbed my hand over it, it felt like a shock of electricity was coming out of it. The painting felt like jelly. Well, here goes everything. Then I slowly began to stick my hand into the painting, which, much to my surprise, began to magically sink through the painting. I grimaced as I felt the mushy fabric glop around my wrist. Do I really have to go into this? I was completely grossed out by having to do this. You tell us, Brady replied, also making a disgusted face at the sight. Whoa, I shrieked. Something's pulling me under. I felt my arm being tugged on by something or someone on the other side. I latched onto my arm and began to play tug of war with my half-enveloped forearm. Enveloped. Enveloped. Enveloped forearm. Suddenly, I stopped pulling as I felt a sense of power. It was like electricity was coursing throughout my veins. No! Brady, Dan, and Davis yelled as they rushed to help me. They quickly grabbed my arm and held tight, making sure that I would sooner lose my arm than get sucked 
into the portrait. And that has been page 54 of the Mirror Mural presented for your listening pleasure without context. You finally got to see the mural! Wow! What a huge moment, you guys. We have been here. We've been reading from this book for nearly two years. <laughs> We've been reading from this book for two years, and you just now are indeed the mirror mural. <laughs> the titular mirror mural. Wow. What a moment. What a moment. Yeah, enveloped. Enveloped my arm. Chat's in the clap. Appreciate it. Chat's in the clap. My camera's still bugging out. That's all right. I'm going in like eight minutes, so. Worst case scenario, it'll just look like we're in the Matrix for a little bit. Hmm. We're still playing piano. Did that change? It didn't. Sometimes Spoofy changes, and sometimes it does not. Weird. Yeah, I don't know what my camera's doing. It might honestly be time for a new cord. It's really time for just a touch-up of everything. Everything needs to be improved, upgraded, updated, added upon, made better. Everything needs to be better. New mod. No, no, no. Same mod. Same great mod. New Bwish. No, we like the old Bwish. We like all Bwishes. All, all Bwish I. What a great page. What a great page to redeem, Stained Glass. We're finally centered on the story now. What, I'm in, what I will be fascinated with will be whenever we finish the Mirror Mural, who was here for what chunks, and could you put together a, a conducive, logical story at the end of it all by reading it out of order like this? Hmm. I'll be very intrigued. I'll be very intrigued to see how it all goes when, when all is said and done. What a fun story. I'd be lying to you if I told you that I still didn't love it deep down. Um, there are obviously parts of it that are real cringy and embarrassing. There are parts of it that uh, are just bad. But at the end of the day, the, like, the, the story itself and the story that's being told and the memories of writing it, nostalgia floods my brain, and I still love the story. I still love it. It's true. It's true, Bwish. Bad, good, or somewhere in between, it is still important. It's symbolic, I think, of a start, of a starting point, of a place I was, you know? Checkpoint will be the same way. I'm sure there are some... I had somebody yesterday... <laughs> I had somebody yesterday comment on our TikTok and say, this was all at once the most cringy and most wonderful thing I've seen. <laughs> and I told them I was gonna, I said, if my wife and I ever renew our vows, I'm gonna ask her to throw that in hers. Cause that's me, baby. Wonderfully made, wonderfully made by God, but also a little cringe. I'll own it, dude. I'll own it. Folks, we'll probably be going live tomorrow. We'll see. Time will tell. How much I get done will, will, will depend on things. But we have some bonus streams that we got to get out of the way. And I would love to announce once again our uh, mileage mania for people that weren't able to join us here today. We'll do the clickbait, clickbait huge announcement title next time. Um, yeah. If you haven't followed us yet, folks, please do give us a follow. We're on the road to 1,000, a road to 1K, sitting pretty at 951, 49 followers away, 49 followers away, let's get there. I want to get there by the end of June. I do not want to reach July 1st and still not have 1,000 followers. I want, I want July 1st at the latest to be 1K. 
That's the game plan. Man, that was a big one. That was a big glitch. I was over there. I was over there. I was over here for a second. I was right here for just a second. But yeah. Anticipate a stream tomorrow. I'll let you know. Um, definitely a stream. Thursday morning, 8.30 a.m. EST. Real early in the morning for Buish and them. I know that's Buish's favorite time of day. Buish loves our 5.30 in the morning streams. He's a big fan. That's what I hear. Plenty of stuff happening over on our YouTube. Um, Going to be asleep. Please do. I'm going to be uh, posting some announcements about our Bible study coming up. I'm going to be posting the Mileage Mania thing over on our YouTube, announcing that. Uh, we just got a lot of stuff going on. And I'm glitching like crazy, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end stream. But we're going to raid somebody. So let me pull up real quick our creator dashboard. We're going to go raid somebody that's live right now. Looks like Deustin and XGN Ninja are live. Fine with either one of them, unless we have somebody that's got a wreck. It's Tuesday. Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Um, maybe I'll ask Trombone. Trombone, are you out there still? I still see your Whale Lord up on screen. Trombone, if you're there, do you have somebody to raid? Other than Pastor Deustin or XGN Ninja? That's how I'm about to raid. One of them. Which I guess would be XGN Ninja because I know I raided Deustin last time. Looking around. Give the old ping. See if Trombone reacts. But folks, we are Checkpoint Church. We're really a church. I am Nerd Pastor Nate. Playing Max Payne right now. I see that. And Deustin is just chatting. Is Deustin still playing Undertale? I haven't been able to watch because I feel like every time I log on, he's not playing Undertale. <laughs> he puts in the description of like, Pastor plays Undertale, and then I go over there and he's not playing Undertale. I want to see Undertale. My favorite game. Um, yes, really a church, really a pastor. And we are really starting a church here on Twitch, Discord, and YouTube. If you want to know more about this community, the Discord is the first place to start to really learn about what we are about and what we're doing. Exclamation point Discord in the chat to get that link, that sweet, sweet link. And, um, you yeah. know, we believe three things to be true about every single one of you out there, regardless of when you're watching this. If you're watching the VOD, if you're watching it live, if you tuned in for the big announcement, or if you're seeing it behind the times, whenever you may be hearing this, whether you believe in God, don't believe in God, go to church, don't go to church, none of those things change the three things that we believe to be true about every single one of you out there. Number one, we believe that God loves you, like really, really loves you. Number two, we love you. We want community with you. That is what we are doing here at Checkpoint Church. And number three, we believe that you, yes, you, matter. You're a person of sacred worth. The world is a better place. Why? Because you are in it. With that, um, I guess we'll raid XG and Ninja because we raided um, we raided Deustin last time and all things all things fair. So go and encourage some Max Payne and uh, let's spam some You Matters in the chat, yeah? Spam some You Matters in the chat. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and start our raid here in 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go, folks. Have a great rest of your day, and until the next time that I see you, bye bye. <laughs>